submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. Greetings, hello, and welcome back to the second part of Leviathan, the final mission. So, um, funny story on the sideline. Um, the um, I had a crash actually um, after the after the final kill, so I had to replay the last turn. So that's why you might see that uh, Tannis does not have any damage because you know RNG works sometimes differently. Um, anyway. Let's continue on here. Final room, final encounter, final mission. Um, where is Christina? I have Christina selected. With the Titan armor. You know, sometimes hard to recognize the guys. Alright, so if this is the first time you're watching me play a final mission of, of the campaign, I do have my patented, not actually patented, um, solution to this, or uh, approach rather, which I always use and that always works really well. So um, that's going to be the same thing. A lot of you have seen me do a thousand times. Well, more like, say, 20 ish times or so. I'm not sure which campaign. How many campaign numbers we have in the meantime? So I'm moving everybody over there, and then I'm moving everybody even if further in. Will do. Okay. I'm taking the point. You know, what might, path do you want? Might have a little problem here. Okay, you don't you don't wanna I right, I'm gonna Yeah, TTC you one tile to the side. Okay, then you have mobility. Together we are strong. You have such blind hatred for us. We cannot understand it. Our intentions for your world were never hostile. They are still not. You are a part of us. They actually expect us to buy any of this? More distrust. Perhaps you would find more reassurance in our words if... So yeah, um... General approach here is that we're gonna take this side, control these three spawns, and then kill the avatars. Simple, right? One avatar will spawn on our side, the other one on the other, so that's a little bit tricky getting him to get over here. Um, but there are rules to the way their teleport ability works, and you can kind of take advantage of that. The one regular rocket and one blaster rocket with jet left. Uh, we've got the commander's avatar. Taking up valuable space in the squad here. Reloaded. Waiting. Meditation is not recy uh, recycled. Um, cycled yet. Normally, I would grapple here, but we might just start off with a good old um, good old shot here, double tap or something like that. I'm on my way. I alert team. So many lives risked to bring you back to them, Commander. 
And for what? More violence. More war. More death. Truly, you were meant for something more than this. 83. I don't know. So. More health than I remember. Then again, that doesn't mean much because I barely remember things. Um, so, bloody Archons with their CCS. That's kind of annoying. Alright. Um, I think we might just still double tap here. And we can probably um, mind spin the Archons. That's not a problem. Is that in range of a set fire? It is. Well, congratulations. We get saturated, punks. Lie down. You are our greatest adversary. You are our avatar. You can lead our armies and save your world. Return to us. There can be no more delay. Though I find the possibilities proposed by the creature intriguing, I believe we have passed the point of rational discourse. We didn't come here to talk. Yeah, take it down. Your persistence is admirable, but tired. It is time to accept the path laid out before you, Commander. Return to us. You were once our greatest asset against this world. It can be so once again. Um, anyway, as I was about to say, so the way he teleports is that the teleport location or position is always a spot someone in your squad can see. Which is a great uh, reason to keep your squad somewhat together. And that includes um, a stealth unit. Like, if I had a stealthy person all the way over here scouting, after being hit here, he could teleport like over here because it's in the other side of the scout. That being said, would be a shame if you couldn't teleport at all, huh, buddy? I completely forgot that that works. Um, okay, let's actually then... Clean up the Archons. Man, I'm even thinking I might just might just save the double tap. Entschuldigung. So now you can just single tap, kill that guy. Hostile target down. Ready for next turn. All right. Um, second archon, you can just insanity. Okay. See how we follow that up. Um, I think you're just gonna go in against the big boy. Maybe we can sneak out a shadow melt here. Don't think we need it, but could totally do that. Class. 
Wonderful. Alright, then let's just get some damage in against you, maybe. I think you're just gonna... It's a little bit of a gamble. I Over get it, here. okay? So this is in blue move range, this is in blue move range. Out. Alright, so far so good. Okay. Three faceless. Oh no. What are we gonna do about you? Get them all. That's right. Oh, there's another one. He's panicked, we don't care. I uh, know, apparently we do care about the panic guy. Oh, the panic guy still moved. His mistake. Okay, three basic sectoids. That's uh, not really a big concern here. Okay, so it's very unlikely that something spawns over here. Moving to position. Moving to I'm gonna bring people in position on the other ones. Yeah, I even okay. I don't even care about cover at this point. Oh. Just gonna get you out here in the open of watching. You've got full focus, you will help on that side. You are actually down here, you're not up here. That's just an illusion. Hey! Inspection time! Inspect that. Go, go, go! I think we're just gonna read it. On the move. Right around the side. Take the high ground here. I mean, we do have high ground with high cover. Take advantage of that. Schon unterwegs. Bestätigt. Überwachung läuft. Finally. Right. So my bet is we get a spawn here and then something over on the other side. Far side. Trust me. Sie haben Verstärkung geholt. Ah. Auf die Flanken achten. Sie bewegen sich. That's correct. <laughs> Let's hope that the the route does not trigger against the muter. I think we got some good damage in on that guy. Oh yeah, 
That's the teleport I was talking about. Now, the second group that spawns in, spawns in actually at the start of your turn and not at, during the alien turn. That's why our Overwatch didn't trigger. Um, okay. Now, we could totally Void Conduit the guy again, right? But I don't think I want him in that spot. Also, might just want to... Ionic Storm to clean up all this mess here. And the Ionic Storm does not travel between elevations. Not flanking you no matter what I do. I'm on the move. I think we're gonna gonna run gun here. Let's see where he teleports this time. So what's with him revealing everybody today? It's kind of annoying. You know what? Yeah, screw that guy. Spana, you got you got one more shot left. This time no spray. Alright, and I think uh, Rebecca needs to briefly help over on the other side. We're gonna teleport to put here. So two shots. Can I do 25 damage with two shots against this guy? Probably. Shit. Not like this though. All right, so I guess X time. That helps. I'm not sure that's actually the spot I wanted to attack from, but whatever. Understood. 
Alexandre. Kill the Spectre, and we need to kill the Muton here. Why don't we just invert the Muton so someone else can easier take care of him? Just, just select him like this. We punch the Spectre. I keep that focus topped up. I wonder where the third sector it might be. Hey. There's not many people in range here for the for that spectre. Someone needs to kill the Muton. Compass Codex. Hang on. You've got a high ground shot against the Muton. That should probably be enough for him. We're just gonna launch one of the sectors here. Yeah? No, you're not supposed to run away from the panic. Man. Right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The way Conduit plays, that really appeals to me. Um, ah. In movimento. Next, please. Ezequiel. Jason didn't even do anything yet. Check. There's a high chance that we get a double spawn over on the other side now. Although, I got you covered. I'm I don't think we get the third avatar this turn. Yeah, I don't think they're having a good time over there here. I'm going in. Now this is a roll reverser. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah, we we got we got solutions. We got nobody has anything to do here right now, so I don't want to use focus. Um, I guess you can get a flank. Target 
Target down. Battles are being waged. We must not tarry. Oh, unfortunately, he's still on cooldown, so we can only uh, only intercept once here. Then don't bother me. Fairly certain though, the avatar will, will um, show up on the other side. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some stuff protocol here. The idea being, I want to see the avatar next turn if he comes up on the other side, right? If he comes up on my side, great. We bring her back, kill him here, GG. Um, if he spawns over on the other side, we're gonna wanna have barely line of sight, damage him with um, our sniper. Or maybe with a javelin rocket here. Yeah. Now that I just saw, I kind of want to get the killing blow with Yeti, and then the uh, he was a useless shot anyway in voice line. That would be a fitting end. Not sure we can get that. Stay sharp, everyone. Oh, there he is. Oh no, not 12 HP faceless. How are we gonna handle this? One down. Okay, now you're not in 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 in, in detection. That's fantastic. You barely be able to see that. Let me see him. Okay. Can you see him? That's a negative and you don't have a grapple already. Can we move you somewhere where you can see him? Maybe with a sneaky transposition. Oh, you on cooldown? You are halfway across the map. There, I would see the avatar. Uh, alternatively, what's the range on the blaster bomb? Not enough. What's the range on the 
Javelin rockets. Oh, okay. I think we might go with the rockets. Oh, what we can do there. Cover doesn't matter. This is the last turn of the campaign. Unless this misses. Um, I've got to command you. Excuse me. I checked. I checked if he was on the other side. Don't tell me. What? what madness is this? I get checked for the mana side icon. Why can I not command? Um. Okay, because the, the thing I want to do, as I said, he teleports somewhere in line of sight of someone. So I don't want him to teleport in, like, somewhere over here, which is in line of sight of you. So I just was going to fully pull back and fire the rocket blind at the spot where I know he's sitting. So we're doing this anyway. Crazy here. Okay, it's fine. I'm not sure why he wasn't showing up before in the command list, but it's fine. And he actually saw now if I'm hitting that tile. Here goes nothing. Well, 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 well. All right. Not fully out of ideas yet. Not in range yet, okay. He should teleport, even if this could get messy. as long as I hit him, hitting him, he should teleport. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard, now was it? Okay, and I think then we're just gonna just gonna kill him. This way I can see him. Yep. 
do. Okay. So we're going to phase walk to that spot. Transposition with the avatar. Hundred in place. No more teleporting for you. You don't see him. Hold oh, on. Yeah. All in position for the use. You use this shide. Um. And cyclic him a little bit. This might be too much damage already. But you know, I'm not gonna complain if Jason gets the kill. Ah, oh, you did the wrong voice line. Save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. What the hell is happening here, Doctor? It's the elders. They're overwhelming our link, enveloping the commander's consciousness. And sever the connection! We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will hide in what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. The heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way.
finally come in from the cold. Right, so, Mod Jam, done, dusted, over. Um, well, not fully over, because uh, I mentioned I do run a separate Mod Jam campaign currently on Twitch. Um, I'm gonna do a quick, like, channel update video, what the plan is, etc., and, and my thoughts and everything, um, probably tomorrow. Um, short version is there's the campaign on Twitch, which I intend to actually do as a global liberation campaign, so liberating all the regions. Um, here on YouTube, from probably next weekend on, we're gonna start a fresh campaign. Um, still with Long War of the Chosen, because I really, really, really enjoy the way this plays, and uh, the, the combat just feels much better than anything vanilla or. Uh, anything else related to that. Like covert infiltration is nice, but it only affects the strategy level and um, um, the tactics is where the meat of the game is and if that is not really interesting in vanilla then there's only so much you can do. Um, anyway, 173 missions. I guess we had a lot of episodes with double missions, eh? considering we just had 150 something episodes. We didn't lose a single mission, I'm actually surprised about that. Uh, and 96 out of 173, flawless. Alright, uh, we had a good run, uh, certainly. I mean, one thing I pointed out a few times, but I'll kind of, it bears repeating, at the start of the campaign, we were exceptionally lucky with troop columns, supply rates, landed UFOs. We were really getting a jet start and then just snowballing off of that. 91% um, successful shot percentage. That's I like to see that. That's like my personal um, barrier is always, you know, that needs to be above 90%. Then you played well, then you positioned your good troops good, you, you destroyed cover when necessary and you didn't take unnecessary low percentage shots. So that's good. Um, so just lost includes um, rebels on retaliations and stuff, but of course we did lose a few soldiers, and I actually forgot to record our uh, memorial war. Two thousand seven hundred forty-eight alien skill. That's a lot of alien skills. Anything else interesting? Yes, we killed the chosen. We killed them fairly late, but we didn't have. Uh, Avenger Defense, right? So we were able to completely avoid that, which is one of the big factors that can get you killed. Um, kills by Faction Heroes, 229. Considering we had 140 on our Templar before we went into the final mission and we got a bunch of kills there, goes to say that our Reaper and Skirmisher didn't really do all that much. 72 covert actions, which, you know, once the Chosen are dead and you can just spam them for resources is always nice. 13 level 3 bonds. I do like bonds, I think they are super strong and people, other people I see playing are kind of neglecting them a little bit, I want to say. 149 soldiers to action. I think that also once again includes rebels on like various retaliation, rendezvous, and other missions. 
Um, 37 colonels. Now, colonel is just the gunnery sergeant rank. There's no... I don't think it checks for master sergeants. Which I think we had like 32, I want to say. Um, yeah, 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 okay. Hack rewards. 13 scientists, 11 engineers. Forward armor after beam weapons almost a month later. Well, that's not too late, actually. Anything else? Supplies collected. Yeah, no? All right. Yeah, that was the campaign. I enjoyed it a whole lot. Um, big, big, big thank you on this uh, spot, and I should have said that way more often, to Kuroka, who is um, developing and maintaining and updating Mod Jam pretty much daily and uh, really open to feedback. And I like the way it's it's uh, going at the moment. And we also have to keep in mind that kind of the de development on base, Long War of the Chosen, stopped at this point. What you see is what you get. So there will no, not be any further changes there um, in the foreseeable future. And so kind of if, you, if you're looking for a little bit more, then Mod Jam is probably the, the main thing that's going to change things up. And uh, yeah, I generally like it. There, a few things, of course, are already left out of this campaign. There's a whole other part with buildable units um, and shifts and all that stuff, which I thought doesn't really do much and just, you know, makes your list in the proving ground even more, even longer and um, even more. You, you don't find what you're looking for, right? Which was my constant struggle in this campaign anyway. Um, yeah, but other than that, I think it's in a, in a solid state. There's some interesting enemies um, that shake up the gameplay sufficiently. I did complain a lot about the frost enemies, but I think they are okay now. Um, they used to be much more punishing, like the frost debuff used to be stronger. So yeah, well, good. it was a good run. Um, again, as I said, probably gonna have a channel update video uh, giving you all the details about the next campaign, about the Twitch campaign, about what's what else is going on. And uh, hopefully I'll get it going over the weekend, the coming one. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you everybody for watching, for commenting, liking, etc, uh, etc, et and also for those who might have hit that subscribe button at some point during the campaign. Um, always nice to see that. If I'm not sure if at this point XCOM 2 is still free on the Epic Store, because it was at the last weekend, I'm not sure how long that lasts. If it's still free, get it there. If not, get it on Steam, because you want the mods anyway. Um, and yeah. Keep on lookout for the new campaign. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for everything. And I'll see you next time.